Okay, guys, here is a problem I'm having with this uh, MFJ Versa Tuna, the, uh, uh, the 989D. I just got it. it uh, I did buy it used from MFJ for a discounted price, uh, and I'm going to show you what's happening. Uh, I'm going to run the radio stock first. Okay, we're going to bow on the power meter, and we got the radio set at about, about a little over 40 watts here. And on this scale... Uh, on the dummy load, because the dummy load only takes 300 watts, that's max. Okay, 40 watts on this scale. And we're going on this on the uh, on the meter, on the uh, amplifier. Uh, it looks a little higher, but uh, we'll worry about that later. Now, let's just, the, the amplifier is already tuned and ready to go. So we're going to put the amplifier back on, okay? And now we're going to switch from the dummy load to the antenna. Okay, let's put some sound up here. Okay, now we're going to key down, and we are going to see what kind of power we have. Hold on a minute. Uh, what I want to do, I want to put this in high scale. Okay, these are both on high scale, and the we are on antenna one. So let's go to this first. Okay, we got a little over 600 watts. This says 700 watts, and the uh, SWR meter is not moving at this time. It's staying steady. Now watch what happens. Now remember, this is a full, this is a full legal limit. Okay, this should handle 1500 watts, no problem. Okay, so let's put the amplifier back on standby. Okay, put this back on dummy load. Okay, and now let's turn up the power a little bit more. And let me see what I got here, because I can't do two things at once. Let's see what the radio says first. Okay, that says 50 watts. I want to turn it, uh, I want to go to, I want to go a little more. Okay, that's 70. Let's go to 80. Okay, there's 80 watts. Okay, there's 80 watts on the radio. And it's probably about the same. Yeah, it's a little over. 100 on this, so I don't know which one's right, but, and this, let's go back to low scale, we pushed it already out of high scale, it's on low scale now, and we're pushing just about 80 watts here. Okay, now let's see if the SWR moves any. Now remember, this is full legal limit, okay, the amplifier has been tuned, okay, we are on operational now, it is out of standby, let me put this back to antenna. Okay, now let's see if the uh, the SWR meter rises. Hold on a minute. Sorry about that. I got to switch it back to high scale. Okay, now it's not moving. Now it's staying steady. Okay, let's let's turn this up just a little bit more. Okay, we turned it just a hair up a little bit more. Okay, for some reason now it's uh, now it's working. Now before the uh, SWR needle it was rising and fast at that, wasn't uh, taking too long. Now I'm gonna just I'm just gonna push it all the way. Okay, we're gonna it all the way now. But let's see if the SWR meter runs uh, runs high now. Okay, now for some reason the SWR meter is handling the power. Uh, the tuner, rather. For some reason, the tuner was not handling the uh, the power before. Let me turn it back, back here. Okay, let's go back down here. Okay, now, right now, we're pushing out just under 500 watts. Okay, now, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to lock the microphone in position, and I'm going to do this pretty fast, because I don't like keying the, uh, the amplifier that long uh, with a dead carrier. So let's do this real fast, and then I'm going to turn up the power as it's keyed, and then we're going to see if the uh, SWR meter uh, does rise. Okay, so let's lock it. Okay, turn it up. Okay, now it's holding. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, there it comes up. It's coming up. Okay, you've seen it yourself. Okay, so I don't know what that problem is, but I'm going to send this to S um, MFJ and tell them what they say. Uh, I have no idea what uh, what this can be. 
I also have the same issue, believe it or not, with my inductor tuner, which I bought brand new from them about a month ago. Two of the same, uh, same issues with two different tuners. Is it something on my, am I doing something wrong? I don't think so. I do not think so. Uh, now, why wouldn't it do it with 500 watts? Why does it have to get to 8 or 900 watts? Sometimes it was doing with 700 watts. Okay, and it was rising very quickly. And then when that happens, I can't tune the SWR because it, the meter keeps meeting, uh, keep moving. And then I can't tune the amplifier because the needles keep moving. So you cannot work uh, properly with, a, uh, with something happening like that. Um, I went out and I double-checked all my antenna conditions. My, uh, you know, I, I soldered my connections. Everything is tight. Um, now, there's only one thing. The system is not grounded. They are AC grounded through the plugs, through the AC plugs. But I do not have these radios grounded. But I didn't have them grounded when I first uh, uh, had my radios in California. It took me about a month to do my ground, and I had no issues. And I was running 600 watts in California, and I never had this issue with the same, uh, with the AL811. Uh, not the same radio, of course, a different radio, but I had, uh, hold on a minute. I'll, uh, I'll show you my other tuner. Hold on, my, my, uh, my, my left hand is sprained, so I gotta watch with my left hand. Okay, now, this I bought brand new, and I, I, I just love the simplicity, I love the easiness of this, uh, the roller inductor tuner, just two, two knobs to turn, that's why I bought it again. I never had an issue with this one on the previous one I had. It was doing the same thing, the same exact thing. Now, I did have issues with this when it first came to me brand new. Uh, there, was some, uh, there was some issues with, uh, let me take this off, hold on. Okay, it's off. Now, the first issue I found, this obviously was so loose I had to tighten this. This was like, the nut was almost off. That's no big deal. And then this, if you could see it, it's burnt. Uh, it was actually longer than this, and it was fried. Now, this tuner does handle legal limit. It's a 3,000 watt input, 1,500 watts. Okay, so what I did was it was so fried on the end, I cleaned it up and, and there was about maybe this much longer to it and it was so brittle I just bent it off and it snapped right off and I just pushed this down on the uh, inductor coil and it was working. But it's doing the same thing. You can even see it looks like it arced right here. Right there is a little burnt mark so it definitely arced you could see this you know it definitely uh, got too hot why would it get too hot this thing can handle the wattage um, I, I don't know um, and then to boot every one every one of these these screws were stripped would you believe that every single one these are these were all loose this I had to put a little bit of grease on there because this thing was so tight it was binding um, this screw was all stripped and then one of them I had to actually cut off I could not get it out how you do when you have a stripped uh, screw you get a small screwdriver and put it under the cover and then you know put a little bit of pressure and as you're unscrewing it the screw should come out this screw is just turning and turning and turning so I had to cut it off just like now watch this now I just got this I just got this yesterday and this is a used one now let me move this up and they had the same exact problem this is how it came believe it or not this is how the tuner came so they had the same exact problem I did they had to cut off a screw and uh, so I'm gonna I, I don't know I'm gonna send it back to them or if somebody wants to buy this off me um, I know it's got to be a simple fix. It can't be a difficult fix. You know, if somebody could just buy this part here or get yourself some stainless steel, you know what this looks like? A razor blade. Uh, razor blade material. It's, it's very, very 
you could bend it. It's like a piece of stainless steel that bends very easy. It's it's sort of like I don't know what you would call it. It's sort of like a spring, you know, a, a deaf with a, a, a flat spring. That reminds me of. Uh, and uh, you know, obviously, if you buy it off me, uh, you're going to have to deal with these screws missing. I have all the screws. I have all the screws. I could I could put them in here, and uh, here is the cover. I mean, I couldn't help that because I had to cut the. Uh, I went underneath. I tried to go underneath, but my cutoff tool, the disc, uh, kept breaking. There was not enough room for the cutoff disc to get under the uh, under the case. So, uh, you know, if somebody wants to buy this, I'm going to sell this for two seventy five shipped and insured. Of course, I'm going to sell it for two seventy five shipped. If you uh, want it, that's a firm price. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to send it. I'm going to also call MFJ and tell them to look at this video I'm going to post on my uh, my site and tell them exactly uh, what happened here. Now, on the other tuner, on the uh, the Versa tuner I have that I'm using right now, this, I, I guess that's the Balan. This came completely off. This was at the back, at the back, and the bolt and the nut, the nut and the washer were in here. The bolt was outside in the bag, and I took a picture of it, and the uh, like, torrid core, ballon, whatever you want to call it, uh, this was just hanging, hanging, uh, dangling from the connections. I'm surprised it didn't snap off with the shipping. Uh, but, you know, obviously they didn't check anything. There was a few screws loose. Uh, you know, obviously a lot of people know that there's a lot of stuff wrong with MFJ. But after you get it working, it's a it's a damn good uh, company. I mean, it's a good uh, unit. So that's the end of this video. If anybody does want this, 275 shipped. It's a firm offer. Do not lowball me. If you want it, great. If you don't, please don't even uh, give me any stupid comments. You know, uh, I know somebody could fix it who knows a lot more than me. I know that for a fact. You know, so there it is right there. I'll give you a little better look. Okay, you can always pause it. So that's it for this video. This is Tom Kilo Delta Six Sierra Bravo Romeo in Pahrump, Nevada. And uh, whoever sees this, seventy threes to you. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna find out what's going on with the other tuner. Excuse my room; it's a mess. I'm gonna find out what's going on with this. I'm gonna call. MFJ tomorrow and ask them what can it be that's causing this issue otherwise I want my money back I just got this so I paid 375 for this and uh, if not uh, if they can't give me my money back I'll sell this online I'll take a loss on this also somebody's bound to know how to fix this or it could be something on my end but my setup is the same it's always been for years and I used uh, this setup with my, um, hold on a minute. I used a setup with my MFJ Auto Tuner a few weeks ago. Hold on a minute. Let me put this back up here. I used my MFJ Auto Tuner a few weeks ago for my Delta with my Delta Loop, and uh, of course I was only running 100 watts because that only takes 100 watts, and it was working perfect. The antenna system was working great. So, I know it isn't the, the antenna system. It's got to be uh, something with the equipment. It has to be. Maybe uh, maybe uh, their tuners are not equipped to handle uh, over uh, eight 900 watts. Because I've never had eight 900 watts before. This is the first time I've had an AL80B. My amplifiers has always been AL811, the 600 watt amplifier. So, I never went over 600 watts. And I never had that problem. So now I have a higher uh, wattage amplifier, and I'm seeing this problem. It'll work fine if I keep it at six or seven hundred, but last night it was even uh, starting to do that with uh, six or seven hundred watts. So I don't know where I'm going to be with this. I really don't. So I'm going to post this. So hopefully somebody uh, does have an idea what to do with this. So if you do, just uh, let me know. Email me at nyt uh, nytom60 at gmail.com. New York Tom 60 at gmail.com, all lowercase, and uh, help me out. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you can lead me on to something that's very, very helpful and it solves my problem, I'm not kidding you. I'll throw you a few bucks. I'll buy you lunch. I'll buy you a beer. You know, I will uh, sell you some money. And I'm not, uh, not kidding you. If it solves my problem, 
I will be glad to throw anybody some money because that's the way I am. If you help me solve a problem, you're going to get some money for it. Okay? Hope that helps. All right, guys. Take care. Tommy uh, in uh, Pahrump, Nevada. 73s from KD6SBR. Bye-bye, guys.